Welcome back everybody, it's Real Nirvana, and today we're going to go ahead and continue right where we left off. Let's go ahead and pull up our menu over here and take a look at the quests we had available. Now I want to say that there was a quest called Lovebirds, so let's go ahead and be a snoop. So let's see here, we gotta hide in these bushes over here. Rejected. They're not getting on very well, are they? I wonder if I can help him. Yeah, let's talk to Dick over here. Funny. You smell... important. Yes, I'm a chemist. And I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot for doctors. And you know how they have that distinctive smell. Mojo makes you smell like that. Interesting. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me. But she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming nonsuches. And where would I get those? In the garden district. Right. Well, good luck then. Wait, don't I have some? I'm pretty sure I have some. Hmm. Three skill points. Interesting. Alright. Let's see what else we got going on. Ah, this is helpful. It would be terribly useful to have a safe place to sleep on in Maidenholm at night. Bobbies are quite stern about breaking curfew, and I can't spend the whole night breaking into houses. Where's the hatch in Maidenholm? So this is what we need to do. So let's see if we can find this hatch. And go ahead and avoid being caught by the bobbies. I don't think it should be too terribly difficult. It looks like... Oh! Okay, that's a weird TV. So we'll go ahead and... See the coast is clear over here. Nice. Alright, we've made it. Looks like we need to kill the power. Do we got anything we can collect around here? No. Poor oh. guys. Well, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. That looks dangerous. Let's jump here. Um. Wonder if there's a way to get up to these pipes over here. Wish me luck. Ah, here we go. Is there anything over here? No? Alright, well, let's go in this vent. Alright. We got a damp diary. Yeah, let's read this real quick. Monday. Made it this far, the hardest part was continuing to go to work without joy, seeing how daft they are, but pretending, pretending, pretending to be like them while I made my plans. Oh yes, I'm a great pretender. She was always so sure that there was resistance plotting away. Why can't I find them? The celebrated Mr. K says there isn't any such thing, but she was so sure. Is he lying? Doesn't he trust me? I suppose there's no reason for him to do. Will he help? Tuesday. Does she miss me? She always She's always stiff upper lip, but every now and then one detects a twinge of feeling behind the mask. She'd say, would you like some tea, love? And I would swear she meant more. 
That's what I meant when I said it to her. She never called anyone else love, and sometimes her hand would linger for just a moment when I handed her the cup. I miss her. I don't miss the rest of the lot, certainly not that awful Arthur always making googly eyes at me. Wait, is this... Is it that one girl? Wednesday. Mr. Kite says to lay low a bit longer. If I turn off the pump, the water will build up. If there's Then if there's an intruder, I can just turn the power on. Oh god. I dreamed V and I were swimming. We swam and swam until we turned and couldn't see Wellington Wells anymore. And then we dove for a million fathoms. And then I lost her in the darkness. Friday. Nervous wrecked. Two bobbies chased me coming back from the phone booth. Thank God I rigged the electricity. They made the most awful sound. I wonder if they had sweethearts. Are some girls missing them right now the way? Or is someone just popping an extra joy and trying to forget? Saturday. More dreams of V. Even after I woke, I stayed in bed with my eyes closed so I wouldn't lose the feeling she was with me. I could still go to a mood booth and pretend nothing happened, but I won't. I won't do it. Not even if she meant the way she looked at me. She'd never stray from her appointed path, no matter how much she loved anyone. I suppose she mustn't. She's not really English, is she? I wonder if she's really the daughter of the Marahara. She mustn't let anyone remember her skin is dark and her hair is dark and her eyes. Mustn't think about that. But she stands there like a statue sometimes, and she seems like someone out of Bhagavad Gita. If you take away the jude of hers and the writing suit and put her in robes of silk. Mustn't think about that. Now... Now is the time to dare and endure, says the old man. Sunday, nauseated. Cooked Bobby was bad enough, but now it's rotting Bobby. I need a new shelter pronto. Must find out if Kay thinks it's safe to move. Time to leave another message. Very interesting. Alright, so let's, let's uh, go over here. And check this out real quick. It's gonna be sloshy. Deactivating the power. Good place for giant octopi. All right, so let's go ahead and drain the water. The other one was known as Little Red Riding Hood because she was not very tall, and she liked to wear a red cloak than her mother. Wonder if we can get back uh, to hear Uncle Jack's story. Now, if I can find the switch again, I'm in business. There we go. Where are you going? Little Red Riding Hood was not afraid of wolves. There we have it. All right, let's listen to this. I go to my mother's house in the woods, said Little Red Riding Hood. Ah, which pass are you taking? Asked the wolf. The low road or the high road? The low road, said Little Red Riding Hood. For it was the shortest. Ah, said we must short part ways. For I'm taking the high road. And Little Red Riding Hood took the low road. And the wolf took the high road. But the wolf could travel very fast when he wanted to. And though he was traveling on the high road, running up and down the ridges overlooking the forest, he reaches Little Red Riding Hood's mother's house long before Little Red Riding Hood was even in shouting distance, and while the sun was still high in the sky. Knock, knock, said the wolf in a not very good imitation of Little Red Riding Hood's voice. Who's there? Asked Little Red Riding Hood's mother. It's uh, the Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. You don't sound a little bit like my daughter, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Ah, yeah, I, I'm hoarse and out of breath, for I've been running away from the wolf who lives in the forest. Please, let me in, because I can see him coming for me. Oh, no! Better come inside, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother, and she opened the door. And the wolf quickly cut her throat and poured her blood into a bottle. He ate most of her, 
but saved some of the juiciest cuts. These he sliced onto a platter, but he was very good with a knife, even for a wolf. Then the wolf put on the mother's pajamas and got into bed. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow evening, and I'll tell you the rest of the story of Little Red Riding Hood. It's a lovely story, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of it. For now, this is Jack Worthing saying, Good night, all. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that wasn't disturbing. Uh, let's take a nice little nap here. Should probably go ahead and... We don't need to worry about our health. We can just take some stuff, but we want to get our sleep up. To sleep, perchance to dream. There we go, and we'll heal up. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's go to all inventory. Yes. So that was something I found out. You can just put all your crafting components in your stash and it's accessible from everywhere. Hey, you're just unconscious? <laughs> you had a bobby pin. You're deceased. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that apple you left me. Mm, apple. Let's drink some water while we're at it. There we go. So let's go to the crafting bench area and see if there's any blueprints sitting around for us. Uh, blueprint for a vomit bomb. That sounds disgusting. We can now make metal tubes. Excellent. We can make mother's little helper. Oh, and a tranquilizer dart. Interesting. Anything around here I can loot? No? Let's check this out. A repair kit. We should probably make some of those. Let's make three of them. And we got caltrops, tranquilizer, dart. Makes someone dreadfully tired for a short while. Reduces a target's endurance for a short time. Target can attack and pursue less. Okay, so it doesn't knock them out. But it looks like it will make it so that I can get away. Vomit Bomb. Who doesn't want to see a lot of people throwing up? Always hilarious. Causes all targets to vomit. Cannot attack while vomiting. So we just need some black powder, huh? Interesting. Oh, we can make it? Let's make it. And we're going to make a vomit bomb. We'll use that at some point. Let's just make some cow drops really quick. I don't think I need them. But we'll we'll use some of this stuff soon. Let's see. I can make a head knocker here. No need. Mother's little helper. I have the help, which is fast, but not what I want. I can make a metal tube. Oh, make a torch with it. Okay, okay, so when we get the torch recipe, we can use the metal tube for that. We got proper shoes. Yep. This thing was good. Okay. Let's find the door. Here it is. Good. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. Indeed, Arthur. So now we can go ahead and get where we need to go fast. I wonder if there's any any other notes around here. Let's see here. We'll take all that, take that, we will build, wait, what do you mean it requires a canteen? Did I use my canteen when I drank from it? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we'll continue moving. I think we can go back up top, it's 1.07 a.m. though, so we may want to go ahead and, hey, teddy bear, um, take a nap until let's say 
six eighteen. Sleep. The poor man's dinner. I might lose all my buffs. Yeah, it looks like I did. But oh well. So I have detoxed from joy. Um, everything seems normal. I don't think I can go through like the the joy detector sensors um, that are around, but I don't think people will just get angry at me like before. All right, it looks like curfew is still on. So let's see here. We want to. So let's see here. We need to get to the parade district by crossing the Mount Badon Bridge. And we need Dr. Faraday to do that. Let's see, and then we have these right here. Let's let's check that out. Where's that at? That is here. What we have buried. So you need to go left, right at the crossroads and then left at the next street past the next crossroads. Well, that was that was left, right? Yeah, or just straight this direction. I know where I'm going. Not at all. So we're gonna go down here. And then this way. Perfect. Okay. We just don't want bobbies to see us, so we need to take a right here. Alright. This is where... I don't know if we can make it. Oh, oh. Okay, so he's going there. Oh, he turned around. What's your fancy today? So much to choose from. Oh. Crash. Flush all the joy from your body. Why on earth would you want to do that? Zeroes out joy level. Does not reduce withdrawal or memory loss symptoms. But... There's a couple things in here that seems extremely useful. I think this is the most important two things. Well, we already have a gas mask, but a boiler suit. So, fit in among workers and raise no suspicion when fixing traps. Wear to conform in construction areas or municipal facilities. We're buying that. How much is that one again? We need that. And I don't need a gas mask, so I might as well get... Just short spike. Uh, we're getting the broken helmet. All right. A nod's as good as a wink to a blind bat. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blind bat. Blah blah blah. No, oh, I have six points. This costs eight. Smooth talker. Notice footsteps. Knock down enemy. We're saving. I, right, or... oh, I still wanted to equip that. So let's see here. Is it visible? Am I right? I don't know if that's visible or not. When is curfew over? Alright, let's see if we can't make it. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Don't do it. Okay, we'll do that. That works just as well. We'll go ahead and go this way. We'll jump this. <gasps> Alright. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's see. Oh, you should... No, they saw me. Run, run, run. I need to find a, I need to find a spot. This seems good. Let's, uh, let's beat. 
Well, we almost got away, guys. We were this close. Don't worry. I'm invisible in this rubbish bin. Excellent. Run away. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. I don't know why you're screaming, but I won't. Because I never left. this I don't know can I can I jump up here or something Well, that was a, that was a no. What is going on over here? Is this a church? Alright. Oh, there's a bobby there. Well, this is, this is the other side of that. Hmm, we might have to come back to this, unless I can, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, there's something over here. triangle so that's probably not something we want to deal with all right so let's look at our map we need to go take the first right that we can See if there's a way around. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's just run through. Joy detector. Open the time with joy. I just have to find a hiding spot somewhere. All right, I think we're I think we're safe, guys. Let's wait for those triangles to disappear, and we'll just hop out and go search that chest. Why, hello, hello. Time for tea. So it looks like I need to wait for an area that I can jump through. Today, the leopard caller is going to be Dr. Harris. Are you calling again? Yeah. Well, oh, another one. Let's watch this. Quite right. And, uh, oh, I believe I've made a mistake. I've confused myself. <laughs> the celebrity caller will be 
uh, Marjorie Flowerdew. And if you win the competition, Mrs. Flowerdew promises to come take a look at your flower garden, if you have one. If you don't, she'll let you clip a few buds from hers. Well, it certainly seems worth playing for, doesn't it? So, come on, get up, get dressed, and get out there. Don't let the day slip away or you'll feel like a downer. And we can't have downers, right? Smashing. <laughs> And now, the catchy new song from our favorite new band. Oh, that was interesting. Thanks, Uncle Jack. Okay, okay, okay. So, there has to be a way through here. Yeah. I think... What? Oh, I ran. Ah, guys are so... Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to try jumping right here, right, once this old lady turns around, and hop into these bushes, and hopefully no one sees me. Couldn't be better, thanks. We must catch up sometime. Yes, keep walking. Continue on your merry way. All right, so wait for this thing, make sure she's good. Okay, go. <gasps> I'm gonna crouch. No! Oh, I'm concealed though. Okay, good. That's what we were looking for. Alright. I think this is the dirt we need to dig up. So we'll wait for them to stop freaking out. Everything's okay, officer. It's just a an old lady who doesn't. Uh huh. I don't have a shovel. I don't have a shovel. 